Hi, I'm David Allender, Editorial Director at Scholastic Book Clubs. Here at Scholastic, job number one is keeping up with kids' books and kids' trends. And as this year is drawing to a close, we've been looking into our crystal ball, looking for the trends coming your way in 2013. Number one, bullying is the timely topic in children's books. The sad fact is that all kids are going to be exposed to bullying in some way during the course of their life. Talking about it really does help. One of the best authors at handling it is Scott Star whose book, How to Beat the Bully Without Really Trying, was a standout for 2012. He's got great stuff coming up in 2013. Number two, science fiction is coming back in a major way. Look for Scarlet, the second in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Mayer, among other outstanding new titles. Number three, intriguing nonfiction. The new Common Core state standards, which have been adopted by nearly every state, now puts a prominence on nonfiction and informational texts in the classroom. Fortunately, there's a lot of great, involving, intriguing nonfiction titles. One of my favorite is by Steve Schenken, Lincoln's Grave Robbers. Number four, novels in cartoons. The success of series such as Captain Underpants, Bone, The Diary of a Wimpy Kid has led to an explosion in this genre of great stories and really great drawings. One of the best in the upcoming year is Stick Dog by Tom Watson. Number five, Kid Lit on the Screen. Lots of great books being made into, we hope, great movies in the coming year, including Beautiful Creatures, Mortal Instruments, and the long-awaited screen adaptation of Ender's Game by Scott Orson Card, one of the best YA books of all time. Number six, War, War, War. 2013 marks the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, and one of my favorite books coming up in the new year is by a wonderful historical fiction writer named Lauren Tarshish. The book is called I Survived the Battle of Gettysburg. Number seven. Tough Girls, Katniss in Hunger Games, you know, it sort of ignited this sort of trend of tougher and tougher girls taking on the world, not limiting themselves to traditional sorts of options. You know, wonderful sort of role models. One of the best in this genre is the series Legend by Marie Lu. Look for her, her new novel, Prodigy, in 2013. Number eight. Survival stories. Survival, you know, obviously is one of the basic human dramas, so it's no wonder that, that author after author turns to this theme, you know, for compelling fiction for kids. And Jeff Propes, the creator of the Survivor TV series, has now written his very first kid's book called Stranded that'll be out in, in the early part of the year. It's really, really compelling, page-turning action fiction that kids are really going to devour. Hour. Number nine, a spotlight on diversity. Yes, kids really do want, do need to see themselves, their families, their culture in the books that they read, whether it's novels or nonfiction. And publishers are providing more and more books that do just that. One of the best is a new nonfiction title, The Lions of Little Rock by Kristen Levine. Number ten, Nature will run amok in 2013. Look for wonderful, sort of interesting, quirky eco-thrillers, including Infestation by Timothy J. Bradley, a creepy, crawly thriller. Wonderful read, wonderful read. Well, these 10 trends are really just part of the reason that 2013 is going to be a very lucky year for readers. So please, stay with Scholastic for wonderful reading, all year long.